reporting successful jump procedure. Roger that. Begin field base setup. something near the LZ. It's closing in. Rift jump successful. Sensors online, weapons activated. We're ready to go. Rift Breaker Novak, please report. Houston, this is Ashley, reporting Rift Jump successful. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We've located a carbonium deposit. Okay, move on to the deposit and start drilling. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. We've gathered enough resources to construct a headquarters building. Finally, let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. HQ construction in progress. Sometimes I wish we could fast forward this part of the simulation. Captain Novak, let me remind you that even though this is a simulated training exercise, you are expected to perform as if it was your real mission on Galatea 37. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants, wind turbines, and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation even if power lines are not visible. Ashley, I'm detecting a lot of movement to the west. We should build up a defensive perimeter around the base. Let's set up some walls and sentinel towers. Focus our defenses on the western direction. They never change the beginning of this exercise. Captain Novak, we all know your renowned scientific background, but your combat performance in the previous simulation was far from spectacular. Slaughtering indigenous creatures was never my area of expertise. Since you've already done this a couple of times, we've introduced some new additions to this course. We'll see what your area of expertise really is. Our base is low on power.
Not enough carbonium. additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. These basic defenses should give us a bit of security. But we should try to surround our entire base with walls and defensive towers. a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Prepare to fight. We're ready for them, Mr. Riggs. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. any more hostile creatures in the base's vicinity. Well done, Captain Novak. The purpose of this training exercise is to prepare you for intense combat situations. This simulation is based on our long-distance scans of Galatea 37. They may or may not be accurate. You will be alone out there. There will be no communication back home until you can stabilize a rift portal back to Earth. You will have to rely only on your skills and your mecha suit. Mr. Riggs is the only companion that I need. We can handle the unknown, just let us do our job. Ashley, we should further secure and expand our base. You can build more defenses, or go out and clear out hostile creatures' nests to prevent further attacks. We didn't have any time to study the creatures that are attacking us. The only thing we can do right now is to fight them or strengthen our defenses. We'll need a steel factory to build more towers. We'll have to find an ore deposit to build one.
This looks like a hive of some sort. Let's look inside to see if it's occupied. you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. We have cleared out this nest. This will decrease the strength of their attacks. Let's gather all the research samples and rare resources that were in this nest. We can study them later and use them to craft better equipment. is full. Build more storage facilities. This looks like a large deposit of ore. Build a steel factory in this area and power it with a carbonium power plant. Okay, Mr. Riggs, we've got steel production up and running. Ashley, I would strongly advise you to place a rift portal near this factory. This way, we can quickly get back to this location if it comes under threat. It would also be advised to place additional sentinel towers to defend this outpost. Remember to connect the towers to the power grid using energy connectors. of the available rift portals to instantly teleport to that location. Traveling through rifts is almost instant and doesn't consume any resources. Sentinel towers are ready. They should be able to fend off small groups of attackers. I've 
detecting hostile creatures heading towards our new mining outpost. They're not going to give us a break, are they? We've defended the mining base, but I'm sensing another attack heading towards our headquarters. We should return there quickly. The HQ has a permanent rift portal. We can rift jump to its location at any moment. Let's go. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. We have power shortages. Connect more power plants. Not enough ammunition to operate defensive towers. Base is under attack. Our towers are low on ammo. Build more ammunition factories. ammunition to operate defensive towers. Base is under attack. It's getting cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. Facilities. This rain is harmless to our base, but it decreases solar panel efficiency until it stops. Not enough carbonium. Operations returning back to normal. Warning! Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out.
primary construction finished. it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. What's this? This shouldn't be here. It's an error in the simulation's construct. This environment has been created by combining long-distance quantum scans of Galatea 37 and other known planets that share similar properties. Gathering all of this data has taken many years, and we were only able to scan a small fraction of the planet. It's enough to know that we can survive there. I can't wait to make the jump. Everything is going to be new there and waiting to be studied and explored. And waiting to eat us. Let's not get dramatic, Mr. Riggs. A five meters tall mech suit with miniguns and power blades should be enough to fend off a few hungry creatures. There's more than a single species of creatures around this nest. We should be careful. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Even though there were multiple species of creatures around here, they appeared as if all of them were working together against us. I wonder if that's just a part of the simulation, or if the Galatean creatures are really going to be that smart. That would make studying them much more interesting. More and much more dangerous. It looks like we've cleared them out. Let's hope this will give us some time to build up our base. Threat neutralized. I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Warning! I'm detecting a huge swarm of enemy creatures heading towards our base. It's showing up on my seismic detectors. It's much bigger than anything we've seen before. We don't have much time. We have to set up as many defensive towers as we can. Also remember to build up more walls and lay all the mines that we can.
can sense the hostile swarm moving closer towards our base. This attack is going to be much bigger than anything that we've seen before. We still have some time, Mr. Riggs. We can set up multiple layers of walls around our base and place as many defensive towers as we can. You can also use your drill to excavate additional resources if our factories are producing them too slow. Captain Novak, you're not the only candidate for the mission to Galatea 37. You'd better up those combat statistics if you want to qualify for that jump. We're investing too many resources into this mission just to send a scientist that's going to be eaten by a pack of angry animals. Show us that you can survive out there. Yes, sir. Weather conditions are changing. Wind speed is increasing. These strong winds can make our life easier. Wind turbines are spinning like crazy. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. speed is returning back to typical values. Wind turbine efficiency returning to normal. Warning! The alien swarm is approaching. Shields enabled. Maximizing power outputs. This is it, Mr. Riggs. Ready your guns. Let's show them what we can do. Base is under attack. This attack was a lot stronger. I don't know if we can hold out much longer. Wild animals don't behave like that. They shouldn't act like a sentient army. You will be going to an alien planet full of unknown life forms. Do not assume that you know what kind of dangers might be lurking there. Your primary objective is to survive. If something is trying to kill you, it doesn't matter if it's sentient or not. Adapt or die. 
Warning! More enemies are heading towards our base. Things are escalating quickly. We have to gear up before the second wave hits our walls. Let's show them who they're dealing with. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Deposit depleted. our base. Threat level maximum. I'm disabling all secondary systems and diverting all power to your guns. It's either us or them. is full. Build more storage facilities. Congratulations, Novak. 